Meet the man in charge of bringing Hollywood to Delaware and the man in charge of guarding its most precious documents. This is The Delaware Way. Dead Poet Society, The Village, Beloved, some big recent movies that have been partially shot and maybe entirely shot in the state of Delaware. I'm Larry Menti. Welcome to The Delaware Way. I want to introduce you to the man responsible of trying to get more films to come and work and shoot in Delaware. T.J. Healy is the director of Film Delaware. Sir, thank you so much thank for coming for in today. Us. What is Film Delaware? Film Delaware was, we put Film Delaware together. Uh, Paul McConnell, a local developer, uh, and myself uh, put together a film, a nonprofit film office like Philadelphia. Um, Delaware at the time does not have the resources to, to basically have a full-time film office under their economic development office, but we, just, we thought that there was a need to keep this thing going, to really start introducing it again. When you say keep this thing going, so at one time they did have a film office and they well, stopped it? it? Yes, They've, they didn't stop it, it's just they had other priorities. They had other, 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 other priorities for the people that were working with the office. It was more of a part-time job for somebody at the office. When we did Dead Poets, they actually had somebody in the, in the office full-time. And Dead Poets uh, Society, the great movie with Robin Williams, that was shot almost in its entirely every, here? Everything. Everything was shot here. Everything was shot here. Stage, uh, the, the actual on, on, on location, everything. Uh, at, at the time that they decided that the state wasn't going to be directly involved or control the film office, the reason at the time was just economics? No, I, I, th there was never really a, a cut and dry, well, we're done, we're finished. We just were, Paul and I were strong enough to be able to go in, sit down with, uh, with Alan Levin, who's our director of economic, or secretary of economic development, and say, hey, listen, we want to take this on. We feel that we can take it on as a nonprofit, just like Philadelphia did. Let us help you with this because we have the people that are around it all the time that can deal with it. So what's your relationship with the state now? Our relationship with the state is they basically refer all the calls to us, okay. anything that comes in. Uh, our hands are tied a little bit right now because we, we need to raise some money to be able if people don't know we're here, it's really tough to sell So the it. state doesn't fund you at all? There's no funding at all from the state. Okay. How, how, so where do you get the money for your nonprofit? Uh, basically through other little productions that we do. And it's basically answering the phone there. We, we, we have no tax incentives here in Delaware. There are no tax, of course we have no sales tax. Tax incentives for the films to come here and shoot. For the films to come here and shoot, exactly. And you can, you can and a lot of the states that are, that are having problems, as we discussed uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Everything's relied upon on the on the new on the legislation the legislation of the funding of the tax incentives of how much they how much they're allowed to, to, to use and everything else and this in all the states Louisiana's going crazy uh, Georgia's going crazy with it uh, California finally have gotten some tax incentives back uh, but they're on and off again Michigan had them then they were gone then they came back but does that create gone. an opportunity? If, if the other states are having problems with this, if you would have created tax incentives, wouldn't you be able to get more business here? You're right. But then you need money to advertise so people know that we're here. It's a, it's a catch-22. We're not listed in You couldn't in make a, that money back. It's a, it's a, a billion, maybe a trillion dollar yes. industry. Yes. And when they come and shoot, they spend a lot of money. And yes, businesses make a lot of money. And the state makes a lot of money. And so there, shouldn't their disinterest be concerning to citizens? I don't think, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm too close to it to really answer that. I don't think really citizens really know of, of how it's all done. Uh, what well, now you that have they do is, know through you, should well, they, they, they do. They they do a little bit, but it's it's a, a you know I'm a one man band basically, uh, and and Paul, uh, we're we're a, a two person band I guess <laughs> or whatever. But what happens is, is uh, when you try to explain to people like, like we had, uh, we spent we left in Delaware over six million dollars when Dead Poets was here, only on an eighteen million dollar budget. I mean, Robin Williams' salary at the time, I think, was like $2 million. So, and this is back in 88, we left $6 million here 
Now, when I said about the first class hotel, did the Radisson have 24 hour day room service? No, not at the time. Did we have breakfast in the morning? No, not at the time. So what does that mean? Oh, you have to go out and you have to hire some waitresses. You have to hire some cooks. You have to hire people. Oh, they get part of that money. Then all of a sudden, oh, I, have, I need a babysitter because right. I'm working. So now the babysitter gets money. Now they go out and they buy their DVDs or CDs or whatever they were buying. So it's a whole trickle no, down. No, I get it. I, and you get it. And I get it. And it's, there's taxes that go up. What, uh, I'm, what I want to know is why doesn't the state get that? Um, I don't know. Is I can't it answer that. I mean, is it frustrating? It's very frustrating. To you? Well, it's, it is frustrating. Uh, it, it's, it's really frustrating. And that's why we wanted to take, right now we're getting a lot of little reality shows coming through. Uh, our last show that probably spent any sizable amount of money was a couple of years ago. We had The Abolitionist, which was an uh, American Experience show that, that filmed in Newcastle, uh, which is a great, a great little town to film in. And uh, they probably spent, they probably left about $200,000 or spent about $200,000 in this economy on that. The other, the other crews that have come in are very small, but we'll do a lot of Food Channel shows. We've done... Um, a lot of these crazy reality shows, um, Catfish, uh, they all love Rehoboth. They all love Lewis, Delaware. They love the, the beach side. Um, but that's not a lot of money on the economy. Uh, as they said, Dead Poets left almost $6 million on this economy. And just think about what that would be now. I mean, oh, if yeah. you well, we had, the we budgets had, of now. Well, we had, a, you know, we, had, we had probably 100 rooms for almost four months, five months. Are you confident, let's just say the state were to pass legislation and they were to give tax incentives and they were to give some money to advertise those right. tax incentives and send you out to Hollywood. Are you confident you could bring business here? Absolutely. But we, we've, what, what we have to do is you've got to sit back and you've got to look at it really quickly about, the, about how this all works. If we had money right now, I mean advertising dollars right now, uh, you could literally bring a script. Larry's bringing a script in. It's about a fifty million dollar. I don't even care whether it's twenty million dollars. If it if it was eighteen million dollars, like Dead Poets, that's six million dollars on our economy. I'll take one of Dead Poets every year for Delaware. And, and what exactly would I, I don't understand it? I mean, I, I get the, the, the cost benefit. I don't understand the inaction. Well, first of all, first of all, with the tax incentives, we don't have a big tax base here. That's our problem. So you could say, hey. You come on down. We'll give you. We'll give you a five million dollar uh, tax tax incentive. Now you have to go out and sell that tax incentive. There's not a lot of people paying a lot of taxes in Delaware, so it's not worth. Now Philadelphia, I'm just making this up, but a three million dollar tax incentive from from P Pennsylvania, you could probably sell it for two two and a half million dollars. I, I, they have to sell it. I understand, but the tax incentive is not for the people in Delaware that are already here. The tax incentive is is for the people that would come to shoot, right? No, but they have to sell it to the people that live here. They have to sell I it get to that. the people that I get that. Oh, I get have, it. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's... You don't... I think that's a... Uh, to me, that's a no-brainer. Well, no, no. Here's the, here's the no-brainer. The no-brainer is if people knew we were here. So you bring me a $50 million budget. I go to our director of finance, you give me the budget, I sit down with the director of finance, we look at all the line items, we look at X number of dollars that are spent on the, on the W-2s, the X number of dollars that are spent on the 1099s, oh, we're going to be here for four months, oh, how many crew? Oh, I don't know, probably we're going to probably take 100 rooms for four months. So you add all that up and literally a company could walk away right today from the state of Delaware with some type of incentive, maybe even a million dollars, maybe even two million dollars. But we have to have them come in to look at it first. I got so we it. Look we at have it. to take a break real okay. quick. And I want to talk more about this. Uh, we've dealt with the tax incentives in the state right now. Right. Let's talk about the selling points of Delaware, okay. if that doesn't exist, when we come right back with T.J. Healy, the director of the film Delaware.